Hello, this is Paul Apollonia again. I had a, a student in my Chromebook class ask me, how do I print off of a Chromebook? Well, 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 it can be a little tricky. Uh, you cannot use uh, a printer that you can plug into like a Windows machine. That won't work. The only way you can print, there's two ways actually. The, the one way I recommend is doing it through Wi-Fi buying a printer that you can access via Wi-Fi. You can also do it, if you have an older printer, you can use a bridge router. You can hook that uh, older printer directly into your router at home and access it that way. You have to know the IP address and do it that way. But I'm going to show you how to use, because her question specifically asked, how do I use it on a Wi-Fi printer? It has actually gotten pretty easy. It used to be a real nightmare to do before, but it's pretty easy now. So you're going to go into your settings as of November 2018. This is how you access your settings. It changes all the time up here in this little settings wheel. And you're going to scroll all the way down to advanced. Scroll all the way down to printing and you're going to go into printers and you're going to add a new printer now i've already set the printer up on wi-fi connected to my home router that's something you need to do figure out it's not that hard to do i'm using an epson workforce 3640 i think it is all-in-one printer dirt cheap I think i bought it for 99 dollars Replace the cartridges a couple of times. It's a pretty cheap printer and it works really, really well for what we do here. I do a lot of eBay. I don't print a lot of eBay stuff on that. I use an old laser jet printer for that stuff. So you're going to click add printer. And it's already there. So it's already found it because it's out there. Or we can do, you know what, let's do this. Oh, there you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's already found the printer since it's on Wi-Fi. So we're going to add it. And it's been added. Now let's uh, make sure that it's working. So I'm going to just flip over here. I just created a test page, test printer. And there it is now. Sometimes uh, if it doesn't show up, you can pull it up either here if this was a recent printer you used, or sometimes you can find it down in here. These are all previous printers I've owned in the past, like in a real, real long time ago. I don't know why they're still there, but I'm going to pick this workforce because that's what it is. And I'm going to print. And you'll see this. And excuse me while I grab it. And there you go. Pretty simple. Um, like I said, the other way you could do it is if you have an older laser jet that has a, a, a network card in it, you can do it that way by hooking that directly into your uh, router box and uh, running it that way. You'll need to know the IP address at a printer and stuff like that. It can be a little tricky. The bridge routers, I I had one running a while ago, a couple of years ago, I figured it out. And then I just, I, I couldn't figure it out the next time something happened to the bridge router. I think we had a lightning hit and had a surge go through it. And I could never get the new used bridge router that I bought working. So I just carried that big mother of a printer upstairs and it's next to the, um, the uh, network box there, and it's uh, working fine just like that. The problem is I got to go upstairs and get my printouts, but that's okay. Uh, so there you go. That's basically how you do it. I hope that uh, answered your questions on how to access a printer on your Chromebook. I am 99% uh, on a Chromebook. I do eBay, Amazon, other online venues, teach classes. I run everything off of Google Docs, Google Drive, Slides. I love the Chromebook. It works great for me. It is not for everybody. It is not a PC or a Mac. It runs off of the Chrome operating system. So if you are on the internet, on Wi-Fi, most of the time, Chromebook is all you need. 
You can get one for less than $200, refurb, maybe even less than that. I recommend you get a touchscreen, one that runs apps, because the apps are what makes a Chromebook even greater than what it was before. I also do uh, Chromebook classes and other stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the little like button if you enjoyed this video and helped you out. And look below, there's a ton of other information. I've been on podcasts, do a lot of eBay training, training one-on-one, small group, large group, do the uh, eBay meetup group, the Raleigh eBay meetup group. Just check out everything below. I hope this video helped you out. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.